Hello, Leah. Uh, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, this is your general love reading for May. As you can see, I've already started. I thought the camera was recording, but um, yeah, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading, guys. It is time stamped. So this section is really for those that kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. So if you click in the description bar below, click on where it says start reading, that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up on your story, stick around as sometimes, you know, sometimes there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you. And of course, use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So, uh, let me just take this in and I'm. So, uh, Leah, let me start the reading and of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right. Okay. So just touch it on the path. So this seems to be definitely in the past and still kind of now, which we'll get into in a minute. There definitely seems to be this pull, um, this strong attraction, this strong pull that you had towards this person strong pull as well and because of their character i'm not sure whether it's their character or it's just something about them that causes them to be very controlling a bit dominant um maybe a bit old uh, elements of coldness when it comes to them I feel like it's definitely controlling this is a, a controlling type of person or they have controlling tendencies which which is quite interesting because yeah, not, you know, it's like you're not, it's not good enough. There's this element of maybe them projecting that you're not good enough. I want to say not good enough, meaning, you know, anytime you do something, they nitpick, they nitpick at what you do or the things that you say or how you say it. It's that type of thing. The interesting thing, though, for you, Leo, is that there has been some form of unhealthy attachment that's been formed. Yeah, and it's kind of made this person have some form of control over you I'm not sure whether or, or definitely that the, the the perception of them having control over you because i don't believe that people have control over you you allow them to have that and you can always take your power back um but yeah there is this attachment so yeah but with that you still wanted to to kind of move forward move ahead with them Again, this could be trauma bonding or some element of that. Um, strong pull, strong pull as well. And I understand this type of pull. I mean, if there's a strong a a a attraction towards someone, you know, when you instantly get a physical attraction towards someone and you've had that strong, intense attraction, that could also be it as well. But sometimes with that comes an unhealthy, it's, they say, and I'm not sure how true this is in all elements or aspects, but they say, you know, when you have that much of an intense, strong attraction, there's certain things that you're both needing healing on. Um, but maybe you might want to look into that if that applies. But yeah, strong attraction or drawn towards this person, which brings us to where we are at the moment. Seems like this person is like, yet again, they are, you know, nitpicking, nitpicking and they're standing on what it is that they're, they believe in or saying or wanting you to get or wanting to get across to you. It's like, here we go again. It's not even so much you responding like that, but I'm responding to this person. It's like, okay, here we go again. Because I get that feeling. It's this constant, if it's not this, it's something else. If it's not that, it's something else. But what's interesting though, Leo, is that this experience is causing these shifts. We've got the death card twice here, what you're thinking and how you're showing up. So this talks about big transformation. This talks about the death of something and what comes after the death is a rebirth or the renewal of something else. Um, so it represents this big transformation going from one place to the next. This experience with this person has sparked that for you. 
Now think about it, you know, sometimes we go through experiences that feel like all the time, if we're consciously aware of it, but our experiences mold us and shape us and give us the tools and help us learn things that we need to learn in order for us to evolve and grow as, as people. And I feel like it feels like it is in this spread for yourself, this experience. And I know it might not feel like it to you. And I know you might be thinking, you know, why do I have to go through because I've been there. Trust me, why do I have to go through that in order for me to learn this? The the truth of the matter is, and I know you might not want to hear this, but the truth of the matter is, is you wouldn't have learned it any other way. You wouldn't have learned it any other way. So you're definitely sparking this transformation and, and you're aware of that. There's acknowledgement of that. Your challenge is this actually turning this into something or, ter- or having that 10 of pentacles. Is it with this person? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what's going on with them. Because I feel like this coldness, this cold energy, this uh, bound, this controlling type of um, stance or expression, characteristic that they have, is coming from somewhere. We do have this, uh, the nine, which talks about them holding on. So regardless of, and I think, I think for a lot of you, you think, oh, you know, this person has all the control, they decide when and where and how and what, but I don't think you realize how much control you have because this person is holding on to, you know, they're doing everything in their power to hold on to this. And I don't think you're aware of that. Why would they want to hold on to something to gain more control or to have them the control? But I feel like it's deeper than that. <clears throat> We will clarify. We've got the high priestess. Huh. Yeah. For some of you, this could have started off really, really good. Um, usually that is the case, isn't it? But I feel like because we've got the high priestess, I feel like um, for a lot of you, this started off as maybe magical as well. And it just turned into something else because of this person. They're not wanting to acknowledge something. That's their challenge, is them not wanting to acknowledge something. They're not wanting to take a look at their self and their actions and what they do and how they behave. I'm telling you, mask, it's masking something. Yeah, they're wanting things to turn around, but no, you got to, they got to take off that blindfold and look at reality because you most definitely are going for a, ch- a shift and a change. And I don't feel like this person is aware of that. Yeah, that's your challenge. Building someone with this person. We've got the high priestess again as well, guys. High priest. Ah, so that's representing the hyphen. Aha. Okay, so this is a new deck for me. And I knew this was triggering some form of high commitment. Look at that. Then they'll be disappointed if a thing didn't turn out well. Why do they give off this cold energy then? Why do they give off this control and insecurity? Insecure. Because they are wanting to be happy, emotionally, emotional happiness and to give to this. But the insecurities are just, just mess this relationship up for themselves. And it just so happens, you know, you both learn something, you kind of, you know, learning what you're going through here, because you're aware that there needs to be a choice about this. I need to make a choice. Am I staying or am I going? Am I staying or am I going? And I think, you know, the answer to that. Because we do have that law, feeling of law. Now you haven't made the choice yet, or that's coming, but it's this feeling of loss that comes with that choice that you're fully aware of. I want to pull on there before we continue this in part two of the reading. I want to pull and see this happiness, this five of wands. They perceive there to be conflict, there to be some challenging times, making a decision, wanting to fix this. The third. <laughs> yeah. So they could get a sense of what you're going through and hence why they're holding. Because we do have this wanting emotional happiness, foreseeing there to be drama or some form of conflict, making a decision to wanting to fi- fix this or heal this. Because we do have that six as well. So let's continue this in part two of the reading. It should be shown off on the screen as we speak, guys. So click on that. And I shall see you in a bit. 